Hi guys, it's a miserable day out there, it's been raining all day. I'm actually going to start making an aeroplane, but we're not going to see it fly today. I'm going to make the plane out of polystyrene pizza trays again. A little frustrated, I thought I'd got four of these big black trays, but I've only got three. But I have got two of these white ones. So I'm going to make a polyhedral or polyhedral wing again in four sections. So I'll use two of the black trays for the inner section of the wing and two of the white ones, or the two white ones, for the outer sections of the wing. I've marked a centre line up the middle of the pizza tray and I'm going to make them 12 centimetres wide, so that's six centimetres either side of the centre line. Okay, the pizza trays have got a natural bend in them, which I don't want. But I'm going to score a line down there and fold them to give us an aerodynamic shape, or an airfoil shape. So hopefully that will take the natural bend out of it. Right, I don't remember what the dimensions should be. I could look it up. I'm going to make my aerodynamic fold. Uh, we'll make it a third of the way back, which is four centimeters. So what I'm going to do is score a line down there with a pencil or a pen, fold it, and run hot glue along it to actually stiffen it up. Got a couple of off cuts of the foam so I'll be able to scrape along any excess hot glue out of the way. Right, that's filled the gap. Lift it up. run that along the back. Okay, we'll just hold that still for a while to cool down. Quite annoyingly this one's actually cracked along the back. Last time I did this I didn't have that problem at all. So I've got a choice. I can either run some hot glue along there to seal it, or I could put some plastic tape along it to give it a bit more rigidity. I've got plenty of plastic tape. So I might do that, but I don't think I'll do it right now. Um, I'll do it later, because we've got a few other bits and pieces to do yet. We need to trim the middle a little bit so that we can actually put them up at a dihedral angle. So that means we've got to cut a bit of a triangle out so that they go up together. And we've got to make the outside edges as well because I'm going to make this wing twice as big as it is there. Right, to cut the angle for the dihedral I'm going to mark in about half a centimetre and see if that's enough. So it's half a centimetre in at the fold out to the very corner. Probably needs a little bit more but we'll try with this much first.
Right, so if we now join them together, yeah, we've got quite a quite an angle there. So that'll do. Now to cut the second part of the wing or the outer sections. This time, I want that to be on the bottom, so I'll have to do the marking on the bottom to put the fold on it. Okay, so now we need to join the outer section to the inner section, so again I'll have to trim a little triangle out to get the dihedral. Right, I shall just hot glue these together and hold them in place while they cool down. Right, for the fuselage, I was going to use bamboo cane, but I've just opened the pack and tried this bamboo cane, and I've never had any stuff as flexible as this before. It's not what I was looking for. So I'm going to have to have a bit of a hunt around, see if I've got anything that's not quite as soft. Okay, for the body, I'm going to use this flower cane which is a bit stiffer than that other one I was looking at. And I'm going to sandwich these three pieces of the remaining pizza tray together for the wing to mount on. And then I'll actually trim it to some sort of shape. Right guys, uh, nowhere near finished as you can see. But I'm going to stop at this point um, finish this episode because I've got another project I've got to move on to at the moment so this will have to be episode one and we'll do episode two as soon as possible